it going everybody? Welcome back to the Team Ono YouTube channel. My name is Drew. Today we wanted to walk you guys through a technique that we find ourselves using a lot in the rally cars here at the school, and that is shift lock. Let's get into it. Shift lock is a right speed for the corner technique. So you have to be going in a roughly the right speed or even a little bit below to really utilize this technique. It is primarily a loose surface technique and it is primarily a rear wheel drive technique. Uh, we'll kind of get more into the how and why of those reasons in a minute. But the basic idea behind a shift lock, sort of the way this is gonna work is where you're sort of utilizing our downshift to lock the rear tires, right? The drive wheels of this car, right? Being a rear wheel drive car, we're gonna be locking those rear tires and using the rotation from that to help get us around a corner. So the way that that you know, is gonna really work is if I'm driving along in third gear and I drop into second gear, when I clutch in, the engine RPM is going to drop faster than the speed of the vehicle, right? So now that the speed of the drive line and the ground speed of the vehicle don't match, there's a little bit of discrepancy there. On pavement, that's where you would blip the throttle to bring the RPMs up, so that, that way when you come off the clutch, the speed of the drive line and the ground speed of the vehicle all match and it makes the shift nice and smooth. If you don't rev match, when you come off the clutch in that lower gear, you're gonna shock load that drive line, probably locking the tires, right? So on pavement, you don't really want that lockup because it can be very, very hard on the equipment. You can very easily damage kind of expensive drive line components, which you probably don't wanna do. And also on pavement, you're not really looking to slide the car around that much, right? You know, you wanna be a little bit more efficient. So those two things combined mean that if you drive a lot on pavement, usually you do a lot of rev matching, whether you just rev match your downshifts or using heel toe downshifting, which we have some videos about. Um, that's kind of more the pavement mindset. On a loose surface though, we come to things with a little bit of a different mindset. On a loose surface, because it's, it's lower grip, it's not nearly as hard on the driveline components. So you can actually get away without rev matching and not really being at a very high risk for damaging components if you do it in a way that's mechanically sympathetic. The other thing as well is on loose surface, we can actually utilize the upsetting of the vehicle to help kind of get us through some tight corners. So it can be a very, very useful technique um, in some of those scenarios. With this particular corner we're gonna be using, we're gonna be going from second to first gear. So I'm gonna be cruising along in second gear. When I clutch in, the RPMs are gonna drop when I put it in first gear and come off the clutch without matching the revs, the releasing of the clutch is gonna re-engage that drive line, which is going at a different speed than the ground speed of the vehicle. And that is what's gonna lock the rear tires. I'm gonna make sure that I do that after I turn in so that, that way it's gonna give me that slide. It's kind of like an alternative to pulling the handbrake. So a lot of people ask, why wouldn't we pull the handbrake? There's a couple different reasons for it. One of it is the, the shifter kind of just falls more naturally to hand than trying to find the handbrake and pull the button which might not really seem like uh, a particularly big deal, but obviously when you're driving at speed in a performance situation, any edge you can get is one that you're gonna want. Uh, and then oftentimes too, you know, if you need to downshift into a lower gear anyway, you might as well use that downshift to help the car rotate and execute it in the corner. All right, we're gonna go hammer down and give this a shot. So climbing this big straightaway, I'm gonna be in second gear. And what I'm gonna do coming up over the crest I'm going to switch over to right foot braking, slow down to the right speed, clutch in first gear, off clutch, counter, let it rotate, then a little bit of light gas to keep it going, hand over hand counter, grab second on the exit, and away we go. So there's that kind of shift lock in action. So one of the questions we get a lot of times is right foot brake or left foot brake. Obviously here at Team O'Neill, kind of in the rally driving discipline that we are, left foot braking is kind of our modus operandi, right? It's kind of the thing we're doing a lot of the time. But with a shift lock, because you are just gonna go and uh, use the clutch anyway to make your shift, you can switch over to right foot braking and that just makes it a little bit easier to kind of execute everything, right? Um, in theory, you could slow down to the right speed using left foot braking and then just release the brake and make your shift. Um, that can work as well, um, but typically we find right foot braking to be a little bit easier, at least for this specific technique, even though left foot braking is kind of more of our bread and butter out here. And you can kind of add in a lot of different elements with this shift lock where, you know, I'm going into first gear, but if there's not a lot of grip, I might want to even grab second before I get back in the gas. So we'll do the same corner here, up over crest, right, right foot brake clutch in first gear off clutch back to second quickly so now I can manage the wheel spin a little bit better on the exit everything else we do with this you do want to make sure you're doing it in such a way that is mechanically sympathetic to the vehicle so you know obviously when we're driving at speed it's very very common for people starting to for people to start getting really really hand-fisted with the shifter 
Now, with these BMWs in particular, we see a lot of people like going to grab second gear and they shift really aggressively and hit, they hit the reverse lockout, like the little detent for reverse, and they can't get it into gear. Obviously, every vehicle is going to have a little bit of a reverse lockout to kind of contend with, but the smoother you are, the less that you're going to have of sort of running into any kind of obstacle like that. So just still trying to be nice and smooth with everything, uh, even though we're going to be driving at speed. All right, guys, so there's your once over the world on shift lock. Just once again, just remember that this is a right speed for the corner technique, even on the lower side of that. Um, it's also a loose surface technique and it is also rear wheel drive specific. So make sure you keep those things in mind um, if you're gonna be kind of trying it out there at any sort of competitive uh, events that you're gonna be doing. Um, if you would like to learn more about this technique and you'd like to kind of learn it for yourself, um, we would absolutely love to have you out here to the rally school to send it in our rear wheel drive rigs. We'll walk you through it and show you how to become a shift lock expert. Um, if you can't make it out to the rally school, we do have a plethora of videos in our back catalog about all kinds of car control stuff. Um, so please feel free to check that out. Um, thanks for watching. I've been Drew. We'll see you next time.